know that copyright is a type of intellectual property protecting creative works, but do you know how long that protection lasts? The framers of the U.S. Constitution saw copyright law as a vehicle to promote the progress of science and useful arts. As part of this, copyright gives owners exclusive rights over a work's use. These include the rights to reproduce, distribute, create derivatives, publicly perform, and publicly display a work. However, these rights do not last forever. The framers also ensured copyright protection would last only for limited times, so that works could inspire the creation of new works and the cycle would continue, further enriching the nation. Copyright terms and requirements have changed several times since the first U.S. copyright law in 1790. Early copyright laws allowed owners to secure copyright protection for two terms, an initial term and a second renewal term, but only if they met certain formalities, such as publishing the work with a proper copyright notice, registering the work with the Copyright Office, or applying for renewal, among others. The current Copyright Act doesn't require renewal or formalities to secure copyright protection. Instead, Copyright protection begins automatically from the moment the author fixes a work in a tangible medium, like when they write it down or record it, even if they have not registered the copyright. Generally, for works created on or after January 1, 1978, the copyright lasts the life of the author plus 70 years. If the work is a joint work with multiple authors, copyright expires 70 years after the last surviving author's death. In the case of works made for hire, anonymous works, and pseudonymous works, the term is 95 years from its first publication, or 120 years from its creation, whichever comes first. Different copyright terms and requirements may apply for works created before 1978 and for international works. If you're curious about copyright protection for these works, check out our circulars on duration and international copyright relations, available on our website. Once copyright protection ends, the work enters the public domain in the United States on January 1st of the following year. Anyone can use works in the public domain without permission. This means that every year, millions of works become part of an extensive and growing cultural legacy, available to everyone as a resource for study, development, and new creative works. For example, public domain works are the inspiration for movies like Clueless, 10 Things I Hate About You, and Frozen. To learn more, check out our Learning Engine series video, What is the Public Domain? And for more information about copyright protection, visit our website at copyright.gov.